The Ruhr district was the industrial heartland of post-war Germany. Nowadays, most of the heavy industry is gone, but the area has reinvented itself as a vast cultural centre. Lots of performances and events take place there, and the major summer festival is called Extra Schicht, a reference to the original use of the old steel and coal mills, as the title translates as Extra Shift. At the finale of the Extra Schicht Festival celebrating industrial culture, the Duisburg Philharmonic Orchestra played Peter Tchaikovsky's Overture 1812. At the conductor's stand in front of the shutdown blast furnace is Anthony Whedon of Britain. A dress rehearsal in the morning. Whedon is conducting the Duisburg Philharmonic Orchestra for the third time, but it's the first time he's experienced an atmosphere like the Extra Schicht. I mean, such good hands. The orchestra, the Duisburg Philharmonic, is world class. They are a fantastic people, fantastic musicians, and I love working with them. The 34 year old musician is one of Britain's best conductors. He grew up in an industrial region in northeastern England, so conducting the concert in Germany's industrial heartland is a special honor. turn it into such a wonderful arts venue, I think is a fantastic thing. And to get the people of Duisburg and the Ruhr region involved with the arts and the culture in a place like this, I think is, is, is fantastic. And also we have tried to choose music that fits with this scene um, as well as we can. Duisburg was once the home to an iron and steel works. The furnace's chimneys were still in use up until 1985. Today, exhibitions and concerts are staged at the Duisburg Landscape Park. The shutdown industrial complex can also be explored athletically. The traces of the industrial past are visible to this day. Historically, iron, steel, and coal shaped the Ruhr region, and Duisburg in particular. Work at the ironworks was hard and often dangerous. The molten iron had a temperature of 600 degrees Celsius. The glare was visible for kilometers. Today, the furnaces are artificially illuminated an ideal backdrop for the concert with the Duisburg Philharmonic Orchestra. On the program is an excerpt from Richard Wagner's romantic opera Lohengrin. of 5,000 on the square in front of the blast furnace are also treated to Johannes Brahms' Hungarian dance number five. It's really good, a great backdrop, lots of fun. The musicians are happy too. Of course, we haven't rehearsed this because you just can't rehearse this kind of thing. So um, I thought they responded incredibly well. There was a little bit of uh, acid rain <laughs> from the, uh, the ashes, but uh, this is something that they can sort out. <laughs> the classical concert at the Furnace provides an inkling of the coming year when the Ruhr Valley will be the European cultural capital for 2010. <laughs>